In the meantime, let me go uh, get an update from Capitol Hill on some legislation introduced today protecting minors from medical malpractice. It was introduced in the House today. Uh, joining me now is Travis Weber, Vice President of Policy and Government Affairs. Travis, welcome back to the program. Thank you, Tony. Okay, uh, give us a rundown on this legislation introduced in the Senate by Senator Cotton and Jim Banks in the House. Yeah, so a good bill that we saw introduced today by those um, members that you mentioned. This bill provides a right of action for those children who've suffered harm because of a gender transition procedure that's been performed on them by someone who would purport to be a medical professional and and perform these procedures on them, which include a number of things, including um, the provision of puberty blockers, cross-sex hormones, or surgeries. Um, when that child, under, that child under 18, when they have the procedure performed on them, begins to suffer harm years later, they have the ability to bring legal action against those so-called professionals who have performed this procedure on them. So this is a positive step. Uh, for vindicating the rights of these victims of this ideology, which we're seeing perpetuated uh, across our nation right now, including those by who claim to have the mantle of the medical establishment. So we're glad that Senator Cotton and, Senator, uh, and Congressman Jim Banks leading this legislation uh, in the House and Senate companion bills, and uh, we hope that this legislation moves. Well, that is uh, good news and obviously a response to a lot of the problems that have been associated with this. We'll follow up uh, more tomorrow. Uh, on this legislation. Travis, thanks for, uh, for stopping by and uh, giving us the update on this. Thank you.